Well, hello there. Master Hellish here. A welcome to our Tuesday night Transport Fever live Let's Play. Um, over in front of me, <laughs> I, uh, I've got the game up and ready to roll. This is our first evening stream of this particular live stream. So uh, instead of being just under an hour long, we've got just over two hours, which is absolutely fantastic. That cam is low FPS. I won't be surprised. Well, th this cam, like the shutter speed is probably... Re or is it this cam? This one's zoomed in. I have no idea. Um, yeah. So, welcome everybody. Uh, looks like we are... We're rolling. We're live. Everything is cool. And uh, we're ready to crack on. Yes, yeah, so we've got just over two hours for this one, which is nice. My, my main is good. Yeah, my main is good. This one... This one, not so good. Very zoomy. <laughs> but I do like to have that in case I have like something to show you. Like if I wanted to show you this logo, I could go, look at the logo. So it's 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 not necessarily for my face, but there we go. There we go. Now my preview isn't working. I have no idea why um, with the restream. But we're live, we're up, we're rolling. And Twitch is also reporting uh stream quality looks good as well so i can see that um brandon says uh i haven't had beef wellington in like six years it's nothing to do with beef wellington youtube and twitch are fine they're they're the ones we care about isn't it youtube and twitch let's go over to transport oh yeah that's a point this is the first time we've done transport fever since i uh, rechanged my settings so pop there we go everything's cool everything's cool and calm how is everybody doing on this fine tuesday uh, i'll tell you something me and dg egg and elaine went to the end to try and get an elytra in minecraft recently which we did i mean we all died lots a lot more than we probably should have done, but never mind. Uh, we didn't even have diamond armor or anything like that, so it was always going to be a challenge. That's loud, isn't it? Is it? Get the volume right on my headset. It is a little bit loud for you guys, isn't it? Oh, not for you. Okay. I am going to notch it down one, even though you said it's not too loud for you. Uh, and here is DJ Egg. Hello, Egg. Welcome. So here we go. I'm going to do a quick recap. What have we done? What have we done? I, the, the recap's not for you. The recap's for me. It sounds like a party in the other room. That is kind of the right volume, isn't it? Okay, so we have some trains. Of course, we have some trains. Here is our second train. Our second train is doing exactly the same as what the first train is doing. And going between two different places. It's a fantastic little train. Uh, we're going between uh, Bradnich. And we're going all the way down here to Bickering. Now, we've got a food service up and running. We've got two farms which we're collecting stuff from. With our horsey carty things. Um, that's road vehicle 10. And all the way down here, we're turning all the farm stuff into food. Which is alright. You can see it's actually starting to uh, stack up a little bit. Do we need to make this bigger? Because it's modular, isn't it? So we can do that. So buildings... Uh, oh, no, hang on a minute. Configure. There we go. So if we put, like, another street access on, that's we don't need that. We'll put more cargo platform on. There we go. Now we've got two large cargo platforms. The construction there is not possible, apparently. There we go. We've increased the size of the... I don't know whether that was any point in it there. 
I don't I don't think there's any breakdowns in the game, Jackamek. I'm not sure there is. Uh, but our two trains are going pretty slow. The graphics in Transport Fever 2 is quite nice. I mean, this is the train coming down the line. I don't know if there's any sort of camera mode. I can't remember now, but there we go. Through the trees. And what we're going to do today, like the title of the live stream says, we're going to hook up Wellington to our network. Might need more horses on the cargo. That's true. We might need more horses. I love this funky music. So we're going to put a train station in and then we're going to link it up to this line somehow. Uh, let's look at the topo topography of the land. There we go. Topography. So this road cuts between these two hills at the bottom of the valley. Hey, Oh no. Why is everybody saying oh no? What? It's one road away from being... What? That's certainly town shape. What, what is people talking about? Oh, oh, right. I see. Uh, people are saying about the shape of Wellington. It's a windmill, yes. We, we will expand the windmill. So it's definitely not anything else. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, looking at the topography of the land. Uh, we've got a relatively flat bit between these two hills if we want it. We're aiming over here for the railway line where my mouse cursor is. So, this hill's in the way. Uh, and we've got one of two options. We either go through the uh, through the two hills there, or we come around here to the right. And actually, this is looking like a nice option. Because there's not a lot in the way. We'll just have to make sure we don't crash into this uh, machine factory. And then we've got plenty of flat room around here to actually connect up. It is much closer to Pickering than I thought it would be. It's not really too much of a problem. Uh, the other option would be to skirt past this farm, down the side of this road. Yeah, yeah, you know what? This side, this is where it's at. So let's have a look at the topography here. This area, like I said, is pretty flat. I feel like we need to go past the left-hand side of this machine factory. So let's start with that. We're going to get a railway line in here. How much money have we got? Not a massive amount. That's okay. And because we're coming in this way, I feel like we could put the train station in either there or here. I feel like there is going to be a good place for a train station, isn't it? Uh, we want to Terminus? A passenger terminus. Oh, hang on a minute. This sat side of the town only wants fire, and that side only wants bread. So connecting the, te uh, the station up over here is preferable. Because then we cover more of the passengers. Okay. If we remove this one piece of... No, if we connect it up to that one piece of road, how much of the town do we cover? Almost exactly all of the town we want to. Alright, that, that's fine by me. I guess if we're going to do that though, we need to point it over here at this piece of track. So if we put it on this corner, and spin it round, no wait, not, oh we don't want it to go up. There we go. I wanted to turn it, I wanted to turn it so we do this. Oh, that's not good. Oh, the coverage there is a lot worse. Oh, the coverage there is so much better. Uh, I'm going to put it on the end of this street because of the coverage. But I am also going to try and tilt it. A lot. 
Mm. Yeah, okay, that'll do. We're going to have bus routes anyway. Bus routes. There are not going to be any buses at the minute. Um, <laughs> it's an Indian symbol. Maybe it is the, uh, the Indian symbol for that. Uh, are we going to be transporting beef to Wellington? Uh, no, uh, bread and fire <laughs> is what it looks like. Um, so we've got to get this railway line. And we've got to get the track to come out. And we want it to come out so that we don't slow down. So let's get it quite... See if we can get past this piece of road without... Oh, we can get past this road. Okay, can we just, like, just connect it up to that? Yes, but we end up with two level crossings. Delete the road. The road is in my way. There we go. Let's try again. So, uh, it's, this has also got to be a, a double track as well. So, there we go. So, that's 149,000. Our bank balance is actually doing quite well. And then, what we need to do is come almost straight into this line here like this. So that we perpendicularly bisect the line. Yeah. And then once we've done that, we then need to create the junction. Um, but we also need to double the line up. And I don't know which way we're going to double it. I guess on the inside? It's like... That, that works for me. So in theory, I should be able to come all the way down here now. Oh. And, yep, that's well within budget. We've got a million in the bank. There we go. You placed this, that station in a way. In what way? I, I do need to sort that road out. That is true. Um, I don't even know what sort of road that is. Let's have a look. Streets. It's not that. It's that. There we go. So, I mean, we could just go... Oh, we'll go this way with the road. There you are. See, it just connects up in a different way and doesn't get in the way of the railway line. That's much better. I love this big sweeping railway line. It's it's lovely. It's exactly what I was looking for. Uh, but now we need to work out how we're going to connect these together. Uh, Brandon says, this game is rather pretty. Can we place trees? Uh, I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, we can paint. Yeah, there you go. Look trees. Did that cost money? Doesn't cost money. Oh, that's fantastic. That is brilliant. Local authority are going to love us. It's not aligned with the road. That's what I meant. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes, it's not aligned with the road. And I did that on purpose. Because if I aligned that station with the road and made it like aligned and straight with the road then we would intersect this road and have a much steeper curve to go around and I wanted a nice gentle curve so we'll make that work we'll make it work the town will be fantastic I'm just a little bit worried about this junction now to be honest um, let's bulldoze this back to there and then try and do a line from here to so this is this is going to be a slowing down point isn't it unless we make the junction bigger junction bigger let's make the junction bigger and there's no i don't see any problem with having a massive junction here 
I mean, there could be a problem with having a massive junction here, but I don't see it. Uh, and I think it might be prudent to do the other line first and then try and get the inside line to match it. So there we go. Let's have a look at this. So that reduces the train speed down to just under 100. I still feel that's a bit slow. Let's take another section off and see if what we can do. At least we get refunds for that. Right, here we go. Let's let's try that again. So let's just make sure we've connected this up on there. And also it needs to be further to the right. Like over here. Oh, it's struggling there. Collision. Right, so the crossover here, that crossover is too sharp. Or it's not able to do a crossover. Let's see what we can do about that. Oh, there we go. Right, managed to get that in. So if we come down here, the main lines. Oh, hang on. Right, you can see the numbers across the screen, can't you? So we've got 120, 120, 115. If we come this way, that number starts to sneak up but then it doesn't really seem to have much of an effect and it all goes horribly wrong whereas if we come this way we basically want it to be relatively tight but we don't want to negatively affect things really bad and if i start coming that far then the all these dots just keep changing so we've got 120 120 120 and then the next one doesn't really change that much in fact it gets worse on the last one so there that's where I'm having it it's a good curve it's a good curve so in theory now we should be able to get that curve to then match up with this one I didn't realize I don't pause the game those two bits are in the same place and we've got similar numbers. Okay, we've managed to keep the train above 100 miles or kilometers an hour on that bend. Now, this one's going to be a little bit weird. Where's the bend start? I've lost it. Oh, there is a bend. There's just loads of bends. Okay, let's do it from here. Okay, that looks like it's all right. That, that's that's not a normal tree, Brandon. That's a Christmas tree, isn't it? Well, it looks like a Christmas tree to me anyway. Uh, shift, ro uh, shift plus rotate will do it a small amount. Yes, yes. Shift, that's a good thing to remember. I mean, I don't need it right now, but yeah. Okay, so look at this one. This one's much smoother. If we come down the line, we don't actually gain a massive amount apart from those first two. So beyond that point it reduces the speed from that point there we have got 120 all the way down until we get and connect in and that looks good to me so we'll add that and then we just need to take that point next to it and bring it to that point there da 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 Wellington there we go jobs are good you feel like there should be a double track tool the kind of is Brandon um, if you build a piece of track and then you start building a piece of track next to it you can go from one end to the other without f having to follow around all the curves and bits and bobs and it will just stick it to it so the, the, kind, the kind of is it's a weird thing so if I was building a headquarters now, I would totally build it here, where all these boulders are, but I don't think I can do that. What can I build? Trees, boulders, I can have a bench, I can have my, I can have my very own bench with some street lights. Um, <laughs> some boulders and some trees. It might be a bit loud, it might be, yes. Okay. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is the signals. 
So, so far on this network, we've only set up the signals going into the each station and that's all we've needed because we've only got two trains running on this tr two track line. But we're gonna need signals around here and then we're gonna need signals at this station as well. So let's have a look, signals. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have to put in some signals here. Now which side are we driving on the left or the right? We are for this series driving on the left, which of course annoys most of uh, my audience. Um, there we go, that, that'll do that. And then these, these want to be one-way signals. There we go. I don't know what, oh, like they get a little one-way sort of signy thing, I guess. And then we need to do the signals down here. What might be a bit loud? What might be a bit loud, Brandon? Uh, please, please clarify. Thank you. You can place them as one way if you tick the option. Yes, there's the option there on the right hand side. Brilliant. So for this one, we're going to treat it like one big block. And we're going to do one signal going in that. No, we're not one big block. So we're going to do one. Uh, we're going to treat it as three blocks. So this is a block here. So we've got one signal going into the block there. One signal going into the block that we ran, ran out of money. I'm going to have to unpause the game. Wow, I've, I've spent all the money. Although one of our trains is coming up to this junction now, so that's going to look nice. It's going to look even better when we get even more on it. I think I would put up with some extra now, uh, noise at my HQ to have some nice trains going by. Okay, we, I th we're getting close to having the money to put this extra signal in now. So we want a signal heading in here and in here. So there's the two ins. Is that right? Yes, there's the two ins there, and there's the in there. Okay, that's cool. And then if we do that at each of these, that should be fine. So what? Oh no, we're at minus 47 grand. Let's take out a loan. Let's take out a loan. Borrow f half a million. There we go. Everything's fine now. We can forget about any problems. Okay, signal going in that way. And then we can bring this probably quite close. There, and then one there. We'll do the same over here. This music reminds me of Daft Punk. I'm not saying it is Daft Punk, it says it reminds me of Daft Punk. We'll put one signal there. I do like Daft Punk. It's one of the music that I do like. Okay, what's different over here? Yeah, it's a V split, so that's nice and even. So there we go. Job is a good one. Now, these segments here, this segment is relatively short compared to this one, and probably this one as well. So I'm going to divide this segment in half by putting a couple of signals in. And we're going to divide this segment into two by putting a couple of signal signals in. So we'll do one set here, and we'll then do one set here. And as this line gets busier, all we've got to do is then divide it up into more and more segments, and it should be fine. <laughs> a small loan of half a million dollars. There we go. So in the middle of this junction, we may not be able to have our, our HQ, um, but um, oh, we've we've got an achievement. But we're going to uh, paint the land a little bit. Uh, well, actually, we should we a bit of, put a bit a bit of rocky, deserty, tarmacy sort of stuff going on. 
and then we'll put a nice bench right in the middle with a couple of lamp posts surrounded by some fence does do the fence does the fence snap no is, is there any new viewer or subscriber fantastic fantastic new viewer plus subscriber apparently well, I'm not I'm not seeing a notification yet but I'm sure we'll get one shortly if not I can go look it up so what we can do we'll look at this it's saying that party piggy is our newest sub party piggy is that a resub are you here I don't know if you are thank you thank you for supporting the channel It is a lovely bench. It's, it's a lovely bench. I am going to do some decorations this season. I wanted to do some decoration in previous seasons. Um, but I just never really got round to it. Oh, I just made the bench go underground. Uh, the fence go underground. So, hopefully... There we go. We've got a little benched area on a little place to look out over our network <laughs> just a bit silly really uh, also this is too huge um, I just wanted a small patch there we go Lovely little bench. The, the brush, the brush size, the brush size was huge. Right, have we got enough money to buy a train? No. Um, what are our, uh, our earnings? Apparently, in the negatives. That's not great. Uh, does that take into account the loan? And oh, it does take into account investments. So that's not operating profit, is it? Income, income, expenditure, expenditure, wow, income is going up nicely though. Um, can we get operating profit in the bank balance? Your bank balance is looking pretty good. No, it's, it's not, it's earnings, which is not profit like we know. Yeah, avenue... Ev mm. Earnings is not equal revenue. No. So, yeah. Right then. Um, yeah, we're going to need more trains, aren't we? So what I was thinking was, is we close... Are we going to need another uh, train yard thing? What's it called? That... Uh, and ideally, they, we've got the train yard. Oh, gold. We don't really need them for any sort of purpose apart from adding new vehicles, don't we? Though we haven't got... Yeah, we'll put a new one. We're definitely going to need a new one. Uh, so, let's go... Oh, waypoints. I did not know that. Train depot! Let's put it there. Now, that would be a silly place to put it. Okay, so where... It wants to be over here, so we can connect up to this track. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's slower, and we'll put it behind the signal. In front of the signal. Behind, behind the signal, there we go. There we go. It's extremely slow for the train to come out. Oh my goodness, that's really wonky, isn't it? It is what it is. It'll be fine. The depots are a bit more realistic. What do you mean, like in length? I certainly think that they are in that way. Buy new vehicles. Okay, can I... 
Can I just clone an existing one? Let's have a look. So we've got train one. There's train one. Uh, we can do clone all vehicles. We can do clone selected vehicle. Not enough money. Wow, how much is that going to cost me? Does it, does it even say? It just says, nope. Nope, 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 no. Nope. Oh, it's going to cost me a lot of money. Right, let, let's... Um, how much loan should we take? Let's increase let, let's increase our loan to uh, 6 million. And get train number 1. Uh, which gives us train number 3. And then train number 3, which, I, which should be in here... We change the line. Oh, hang on. We need a new line. Lines. Can I add lines from here? Or should I have done it from where I was? Probably should have done it from where I was. Uh, vehicle statistics. Line statistics. Lines. Okay, here we go. New line. So we're going to go from Wellington down to Pickering. And then back again. There you go. Done. And you know what? While we're at it, new line. Go down to Wellington. And then head into Bradnich. There we go. We're sharing all sorts of lines here. And then what we'll do is we'll go to our vehicles. That's the vehicle statistics. What about the vehicles in here? And we will change that train line. Can I change its line? Set line. Line one. It's gone. Oh, it's done all of them. I didn't want all of them. Set line. Brad, there we go. Let's try again. Just train three. Line one. There we go. Where is train three right now? Okay, I have no idea why it's over there. Oh, there's a heist going on in chat. Tinman's here watching on YouTube. Steve's here watching on YouTube as well. Hello, welcome Steve. I Yeah, I'm not sure why that train is all the way over there. I don't know if I failed to choose the depot that it was coming from, but let's make sure we're set to this depot. It's because I chose the line, wasn't it? Okay, um, line one, train three, clone, not enough money, I'll right, we'll take out more loan, let's try again. Train three, there we go. Then we move train four to line two. There we go, jobs are good. When you clone, it spawns at the depot nearest what you clone. Oh, that's a shame. It'd be nice if it spawned at the depot I initially chosen. Oh, that one did. Anyway, we need to rename these lines. Ooh, there's a new two new vehicles available. Okay, so we've got a better train and better carriages. Of course we've got better train and better carriages. We've just created two new trains. Okay, line one is the well well is the well pick line. Um, and it's part of the main line as well. It's just our main line is like a T-shape, I suppose, now. So we've got the well pick main line, and then number two... There we go, is the well... Uh, Brad main line. There we go, it's the well Brad main line. 
Nice pick for the name, indeed. Uh, if you wait a few days, you will get a new local and carriage. Steve, Steve, I just missed it. I just missed the new train. But there we go. Hang on a minute, is that the new one? No, it's not the new one. Right, now we have to hope that all these trains are going to start making us some decent money. Because our account is not looking great. So let's have a look at this train. This train's coming in. Uh, it's got 42 people on board. It's it's coming into Pickering. On the Pickbrad main line. And cha-ching. Makes us loads of money, yeah? It just cost us 16000 I didn't see it making any money. Oh, no. Is, is this new line going to... Like bankruptors. Um, we're certainly not doing so, um, quite well. Uh, Brandon says, I'm surprised you're not naming them after Viewer Plus. Uh, we're not naming the lines after Viewer Plus subscribers, but we'll name the trains after Viewer Plus subscribers until we run out, maybe. So let's do that now. Where's the trains? Right, so train, what will. What we'll do, right, we'll name a train each live stream. Because if we name all the trains, we'll have, like, it'll take forever. It will take absolutely forever. But if we name, like, a train each live stream, then we'll do that. Now, this is episode three, right? So we'll name one from the first two live streams, and then we'll do this one. By the way, if anybody's watching this thinking, oh, I wish I'd watched this from the beginning, or I wanted to catch up on how this started and everything... Uh, you can do that. If you go to my YouTube channel, you have a look at the playlist for this series. I think the playlist is even in the description of the live stream. I'm not sure. Um, but also, if you go to my website, masterhellish.net, there is a playlist page on my website, which all of my playlists are nicely grouped. If there's any playlists missing off there, let me know on Discord uh, or on Twitter or something, and I'll make sure it gets added. So we'll do one right now. We'll pick one lucky viewer plus subscriber to name train one after and that person is Ashy. Congratulations, Ashy. You are getting or oh, is it Ashe? It's Ashe, isn't it? Not Ashy. What am I talking about? There. There we go. We've got train number one named after a viewer plus subscriber. We'll do one each live stream. And we'll do two more this live stream to catch up on the other ones. Okay, so I think we've built that railway line. Well, no, we have built that railway line. I don't know whether we're going to survive the cash that we've put into it because we've just purchased a load of trains. But the trains are running. That one's got no one on it. Uh, that one's got 42 passengers on it, though. So that's good. How many passengers are waiting here now at... Pickering. Uh, 27 wanting to go to Brad and only two passengers wanting to go to Wellington. Well that's not on. Wellington's a lovely place. Look at it. Although we could probably help Wellington expand quite easily because we've got farms nearby. Look there's a farm nearby there. Uh, there is a food processing plant just there. And the town needs food. So that, for me, is crying out food network. And the roads look like they're all hooked up as well. Yeah, all the roads are already hooked up. Maybe we could do with a shortcut through here. Oh yes, this is exciting. Let's do this. So let's do a T-junk... Oh, we ain't got any money. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh dear. If in doubt... Blame the bench. Yeah, the, the bench broke the budget, didn't it? That bench has got to be the, in the screenshot of the next... Uh, of the next... Uh, what do you call it? Hasn't it? Right, let's have a look here. What's going on here? So we've got a train that stopped there. Train 2. Because train 4 is up ahead. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it at the moment unless I take out... Uh, a new loan. Train 3 is hurtling towards Wellington 
with 20, uh, with 42 people on board and at Wellington station there are only three people wanting to go to Brad um, yeah that's it's just losing money that that's all that train is doing for us if our, our, our bank account is just going down and down at the minute um, yeah the balance of these trains is not great I, I hope we can turn this around really do if I survive until next live stream exactly I think the money is going to start doing it. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why it dropped off. I think it's because the people might have been wanting to come here. See, that was some decent amount of money. And if we look at the vehicle list for the trains, one of them's now in profit at the minute. That's good. What's this? Station statistics. Uh, Wellington Station costs us a lot of money in maintenance. Okay, what's this? Town statistics. Okay, so we've got some town... Wellington's 40% growth? Why is Wellington 40% growth? All I've done is stuck a train station there. Can you look back at that station list again? Yeah... There is uh, various cargo at various places. There is a lot of passengers at North Street. Lots of cargo waiting. Waiting. Yeah, there's loads of cargo waiting at the farms. The Wellington Station building. A total of 25 passengers. Total 25 passengers there, so that's all right. So, as long as these trains start to make some money, whew, that was a bit close for my liking. All the workers who built the station ended up staying there, says Tidman. Maybe that, that might have been it. That might have been it. I'm relatively happy that these trains are... Oh, we've got an autosave going on. That was all, all almost Matrix style, wasn't it? It's like, I zoomed in, the autosave kicked in, paused the game. I mean, you could do that manually. You could be like, let's see if we can just do it for just a bit of fun. So like, you zoom in. And then you're like, wow. <laughs> Uh, I'm just being a little bit daft now, aren't I? Okay, uh, we're probably going to need some uh, more platforms at these stations um, sometime soon because we've got quite a lot of trains going in and out. But I think at the moment we're just about okay. Not sure. Uh, one of the things we haven't done is we haven't done road vehicles over at Wellington. So we do need to do that. A station is overloaded. Okay. Um, some of the waiting passengers of cargo will get lost. Negative impact on town growth. Right. That's not the best really, is it? Train 3 only got four passengers on it at the moment. That's why you mentioned looking at the building, though you haven't seen it. That's... Hang on a minute. That is why I mentioned looking at the building. I thought I may have seen it missing a platform, so couldn't drop off? I mean... There is a platform there. And this train does have four passengers on it. So they dropped off and picked the new one picked up no problem. 
money's actually just starting to turn around now. If we look at the trains, uh, two of them are in profit again. Um, it's just the ones that are going to Wellingborough that are uh, Wellingborough Wellington that aren't. And I feel like if we take out just a little bit more loan and build in a um, a service for people to be able to get around the city, it will benefit us. That's the wrong size road. Okay, so let's turn this into a bit more of a grid without breaking anything, I would say. So let's connect that up and that up. Try and keep it a little bit natural. Yeah, that looks okay. We'll encourage town growth along this way. Uh, we've spent all the money. We'll leave it like that. Not that one. Well, what place are you talking about? That one's got a station. They're all happy. A platform at the station, I should say. Uh, this one. There's a platform at that station. They're all happy. Mike's here says, hey, hellish, hope you are well. Congratulations on your 50 viewer plus subscriptions again. How is the stream going tonight? It's going good. Well, sort of going good. The track building went brilliantly, and I purchased some trains right before some new ones came out. And now we've got financial issues. If we look at the charts, um, the balance, the bank balance... Uh, is is not doing well actually no right okay if you look at the bank balance it did go down a lot but it looks like it might be starting to recover you still don't get why that train didn't unload though I think it's because it picked up passengers somewhere else before I switched on to the correct line so therefore the passengers didn't want to get off there and it had to wait until it get to the other end and then they didn't Okay, so we didn't plummet on the bank balance. Uh, what are tracks? Total number, is this length of track? You can see where we put the main line in, and then you can see where we built Wellington. And town growth pop in the population is going nicely. Um... Yeah, if we have a look, we did spend a lot of money adding Wellington into the loop. But, and here's the important thing, with that first 4 million that we spent, we connected two towns and created one railway route. With the one that we've just added, which cost a little bit less, we've actually now got another two railway routes. So now we've got three in total. So you could say it cost us like about half as much. I do need to start putting more road vehicles on this line, though. It is getting a little bit ridiculous, but we've got to wait for the money to start coming in. Money's not horrendous at the minute. We've got a train coming in. What's on the train? Five passengers. Why does no one want to go to this town? It's leaving with seven, so it's leaving with two more than what it had. I don't, I don't understand it. What is wrong with this town? It's a beautiful town. It's got a bit of a kinky road. And there's nothing wrong with a little kink. I mean, look at the town and the street. They've got super fast horse and carts that zip around town. And they've got them where they uh, also disappear as well. They turn invisible. Why, why wouldn't you want to come here? Uh, we've got another train coming in. This time it's got five passengers on it and it loads up 16 to go in the other direction. This is why we're having the problem. I thought more people would want to be on the Wellington line. It's the maintenance cost of the track, says Frederick. 
Um, I don't think cost is our problem. I think income is our problem. That train arrived there and it could have up to 42 people on it and it only had five. That's, to me, was a big problem. I mean, we could, if we had the money, we could, oh, look, our account went into the positives. Our bank balance just went into the positives. Um, I don't know if it'll stay that way, but we'll see. Oh, you meant the graph that I was looking at. Oh, we just dipped into the negatives again. Okay. And of course, it would take the mark when we're in the negatives. Overall, we're doing good. I think what we'll do is, like, these stations are overloaded. We need more vehicles going to them. So this is the pick food loop, the yellow one. I think we should add more vehicles. How much will it cost? It doesn't tell me. I mean, we can't do it because we're in the negatives now. Again, of course. Also, I'm not sure about having the lines all these different colours. Um... I mean, I feel like the passenger services, so uh, the main line and the other ones should all be different shades of blue. Or is that a bad idea? Am I, am I going to get confused between them? I don't think so. And then the food loop can be uh, yellow. And then these uh, these ones inside the town can be a different one because they're passenger services. So maybe they can be the pink, uh, the reds. Or just red because they're in the individual towns. There we go. I will get confused anyway. You're right. You're right. I will get confused anyway. Maintenance cost is very high in these games. Having a lot of track with not a lot of trains will set you back considerably. Yes, but I'm setting myself up for future um, brilliance. Look, look, we've got a positive bank account now of 172,000. Let's spend it all quickly. We're going to spend it all quickly by setting up a food route, I think. Um, all we'll need is a couple of truck stations. Um, three truck stations. And they've, they've got to go a very short journey. So, I don't know how far away from this... Look, that's 79. So that's one truck station over there. Then we need a truck station over here. So, I guess if we move that round, that's 83. So, that's two truck stations already. Then we just need one truck station in town and a truck depot, which is, like, really cheap. Then we've got a whole other food network done. Town will grow. We'll have more passengers coming down the main line. Bigger trains, better trains, more trains, and then the money will just roll in. Probably. Not sure about that, to be honest. Right, are we going to get a couple of trains crossing over here? be nice if we had three trains crossing in three different directions at the same time. No, we're not going to get them crossing there any time. We're going to get two crossing by here. There we go. Oh, that train's going round the bend. Oh, look, and then that train went down there. This train's got Right, how many's on this train? How many's on train four? How many's on train four? 16. That's a little bit of an improvement, isn't it? And how many's waiting at the station? Only eight. That's that's not that's that's not the best. And the bank account's looking terrible again. Should we get more loan? How much does a loan cost us? I 
Okay, loan interest last year was 70,000. That doesn't really borrow me, uh, uh, worry me. Let's get another million and finish this this service. We're going all in on this, folks. We are going all in. So we want to we want to put the bread in. So we'll put a truck stop somewhere where we'll drop it off to all the bread. Looks like if I put one right here, that will do the job. Let's just make sure it's a little bit more aligned. There we go. And now this is a road depot and that's a tram depot. So we don't want the tram depot. Let's put the road depot out of town a little bit. Like on the edge of town over here. We, we don't need it apart from... Actually, the road depot should just go where the beginning of the route is, right? Because then that's time... Ah, but I might need vehicles in town later. Because I might need vehicles in town later, we'll put it over here... On the edge of town. Actually, we'll put it here. So that's a, a junction. A nice junction. I think that's going to be okay. Frederick says, I think the passengers not be coming because you have few, too few trains on the line. Passengers want high frequency. That That is... Yeah, I think that is true. That is true. Let's have a look. Just need to check something. Alright, uh, okay. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. The only other thing is, is that I feel like we need a shortcut for these uh, road vehicles. So, let's get a street. Check the topography. Yeah, look. This contour line is pretty much smooth. So, if we come out from here. And then round to there. We're pretty much following that contour line, so it'll be nice and neat. Ugh, that's horrible. <laughs> okay, when we've got more money, I'm coming back and fixing that hillside. Um, so let's get a few vehicles. Oh, we need a line. Uh, how do I do a line? I can't remember. Here we go. New line. Okay. So this is going to go from here to there, into town, and then back again. And that's it. Uh, we're going to full load at Lower Wellington. And that's it. We'll just take what Wellington East has and bring it back to the Wellington Transfer. You need more colours for your lines. They're available on Steam. Okay, I, if I do run out and I feel like I want some more, I will definitely do that. But this is going to be the, uh, the Well Food... The well, 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 food, and we just need some road vehicles on it. I think so. If we go into the road vehicle thing, buy vehicles, we get the horse and cart, twenty-three thousand, and then we set its line to well food, and that's it. Then we can clone it if we want to. We'll clone all of them. We'll clone all of them again. And one last time. There we go. I might have got too many. We do one to start with. You just clone them all. Okay, so now, if I've done that all correctly, we actually have a second uh, food loop up and rolling. There we go. I uh, just need to try and clear that. Oh, hang on a minute. Where are you going? Oh, that's that's Beatrice Hall. That's not one of my road vehicles. They're my road vehicles. And we've already got 19 uh, food waiting. So let's see. Can we configure this? Add cargo platform here and here. There we go. Hopefully that makes it a little bit better. And my road vehicles are coming down the road. Fantastic. Bank account's looking not too bad. It's like we will pay off the loan whenever we can pay off a chunk of it. It is a conga line, yes. 
but these vehicles will naturally spread themselves out because um, because we're doing full load orders but we're only doing full loaders orders at the start of the loop but hopefully providing some of the things that this town want will improve things okay so we've got a full load here yep that's good yep full load oh my goodness that they're all full loading and we need more we need more we need more right we need more um we, we need uh, the well food uh how many can we have there we are I've, I've spent all the money we've got on three more they're on their way there's 54 food there already wow production at this plant is at full whack what about this one yeah shipments not looking too great okay folks we've got these vehicles picking food up at two different plants at uh, two different farms here for pickering should we just change it to just one farm so that they pick it up from the farm they take it over to the food plant they bring the food back into the town and they just take over one farm again should we do that let me know what you think and the two conga lines over here are actually meeting there we go i mean one conga line is significantly smaller than the other conga line um we just need to get fire into wellington how, how do we get fire what what is fire who is fire i'm not fire let i wonder how much these are gonna make each in income oh let's do that thing that we do in open ttd let's pause it there right okay chat these guys are bringing uh four food down this line uh, down this road from there over here okay how much money in income do you think they're going to get when they drop that four wheat off brandon says 500 dj's going with 300 interesting figures um if you're watching and you're in the chat feel free to throw some numbers in there let me know what you think let's carry on on standard speed give people chance south franken says uh 1200 i'd be quite happy with 1200 oh wow our bank our bank balance is looking terrible let's borrow some more money uh so there we go we it was 6487 so you're all terribly wrong <laughs> actually rude got rude got 5000 but i don't know whether that was in time presumably the next one is going to give us the same sort of money bean says 11000 that's too much yeah 6000 that's not too bad that's all right actually now there's no food here i don't think production has started at the plant i'm not sure what this oh it's just loading was it so the first vehicle has got nothing on it but we'd expect that is that doing a full load hang on a second no it's not doing a full load it was just loading okay for four pieces of wheat it's not four pieces of wheat egg it's not four individual grains of wheat it's four crates of wheat a <laughs> hundred and eighty billion pounds i mean i don't think it's even in pounds is it it's in uh, it's in dollar bucks or whatever it is yeah it's in it's in dollars look there was and momentarily there was some food there so we've got two food in that one being carried away uh this one's got three food in it um and that one just just hasn't got any food at all in it because it was the first one but we definitely need more vehicles so um how much would it cost to double it oh my goodness i just doubled it oh 
Oh, I just doubled the amount of road vehicles going through this. <laughs> Brandon says, with 180 billion, you can afford a tenth of the ship you want in EVE. Wow, what ship do you want in EVE, Brandon, that's going to cost you uh, 1,800 billion? There we go. We've got another conga line there. You can see these ones are starting to sell, uh, spread themselves out a bit better. Uh, I don't know how much income we're getting on these food. So we're getting two food on this one. It's 1,000 and something. Two food there as well. That is 1,600. So overall, I would hope that this line is making us some half decent money. Uh, yeah, 7,000. It's making us some good money. That's that's brilliant. It it also it already has more road vehicles than the Pickering food line. When in doubt, default to uh, lines from Red Dwarf. Oh, Red Dwarf. I love that show. It was a brilliant show. Red Dwarf. Robot War. Oh, the condition of multiple vehicles is very poor. If, it, if in poor condition, it causes additional emissions and vehicles can be maintained or replaced to reduce emissions. So what vehicles are in bad shape? Good, medium, very bad, good, very good. Okay, we need to do some replacement here. So we can do replace all, um, all vehicles or configure maintenance. All oh, right, okay. Um, let's have a look. There are 20 vehicles to be replaced. Um, apparently it's going to cost me nearly half a million. Uh, there's pollution in this game. Apparently there is pollution in this game. Horses have pollution. It's sort of Tim and... <laughs> they definitely have a lot of pollution. Um... I don't really know what to do about this at this stage. Because I was going to buy more. Although the condition is very bad. More depots. <laughs> oh dear. Mike says, uh, back when I was a young one, Red Dwarf was one of your favourite shows. Yeah. Uh, I can't think of many TV shows where I'd be like, oh yes, all of them. Actually, no, that's not true. If I think about it, it's fine. Uh, wait, wait until you upgrade to the next vehicle with more capacity. That's a good idea, Egg. I don't know when it's coming out. But it can't be that long, can it? Yeah, let's just ignore it. We're going to ignore that for now. Um... What was the chat's verdict on changing from two farms to just one farm down here? Mm -hmm. I feel like changing to one farm is a good idea. Apparently it doesn't improve things much? Okay, interesting. One for farm for now as you can barely transport it to it. Interesting. Maybe. Uh, Bean says, just give the drivers a bucket and shovel and it'll probably be fine. Yeah, it's probably like the cart and stuff as well. Um, we've got a train about to intersect a horse. Unlike Open TTD, you don't have to worry about break breakdowns for not maintaining vehicles. Yeah, I definitely had my Open TTD head on there. Uh, we've got a train that's about to pull into the station with six passengers. Okay, so the trains aren't doing that great, but on average, they're doing all right. There's a, there's a glitch in the game where you can replace road vehicles even if you do not have the funds. Wow. Completely unnecessary early game. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna ignore that. Uh, I think yeah, we're gonna go down to one farm. But which farm do I get rid of? 
Do I go for the further farm or the closer farm? Eh? Yeah, more distance equals more money, but then, like, surely it's, like, more travelled and stuff as well. Uh, Red Dwarf did a three-part season last year covering what happened to the cats. Really? I'll have to look into that. More distance equals unknown. Let's... Let's see. Just separate the routes for the farms, each to its own route. I feel like just simplifying things down to one farm to begin with. So, if we go lines and then pick food, we're going to manage the line and we're going to take Pickering Farm. Well, no, which one's producing the best? That's the way we want to do it. Look, our production's at, production's at 200 there, 20% transport and 97 and south uh, transports at 2% 103 production yeah I think we're gonna go I think we're gonna go we're gonna go Pickering Farm North because that's less distance that the vehicle is traveling empty so we're gonna go Pickering Farm South remove Eccles plant remove and Pickering food remove. So we're just going farm, plant, and then food. Done. Keep it simple. And that means that we no longer need this station. You hear chickens? I don't hear chickens. No chickens anywhere. The condition of multiple vehicles is very poor. That's going to cost us a lot of money. How many passengers have we got waiting? Eleven. And seven. Okay, let's have a look. Our trains are all right. Um, do we need more trains on this part of the line? Like the Pickering, whatever it is, line. We've got, if we look at the station, the Pickbrad main line has only got one passenger, but the train has literally just pulled out the station. Uh, what about over here? Pick bread main line 39 and the next train is a little bit further down the line. Interesting. Oh, it was from one of the farms? I didn't hear anything. I mean, there's some horses there. Oh, they're animated as well. This is the... Oh, hang on. What's this over here? Cows? So we've got cows, horses, crops, more cattle. What about over here? Is it the same? Oh, what is this? Are the hens in the barn? We're in the barn. What is a barn? We got some sheep down there. The graphics in this game is brilliant. I wouldn't be surprised you heard that, Brandon. I would I would not be surprised at all. Okay, what's going on here then? Okay, so we've got the food stuff going. That's all going well. Things are going round. We probably need more passenger travel within that town, but we'll get around to that at some point. Uh, let's have a look. A road vehicle travel. No, we don't want to look at vehicle statistics. We want to look at line statistics. So everything is doing quite well apart from the Wellington Railway Line. Fair enough. 
Uh, frequencies, uh, let's have a look. Frequency on the Brad loop is about three minutes, which I think is good. Um, and frequency on the Pickering loop is 108 seconds. That's even better. Isn't it? It's making more money as well. Oh, it's complaining about vehicles again. Let's pay off the loan as we go. Right, I think, despite the railway line not doing great, we're all right. Look at our balance. It is tracking upwards, despite me paying off the loan slightly. Finances, I think, are stable. The, the company is going to live to see another day. And speaking of the company and seeing another day, I think what we should do is get a, a bus service going around town. So if we get uh, some bus tram stops in, and we'll put one right outside the train station, going that way? No, wait. I don't know, actually. Going that way. We'll, we'll have one going that way. And then we'll come down this part of town. We'll have one there. And then we'll come down the main... Yeah, we'll come down the main road. We'll have one here. We'll have one in this part of town. That part of town down here down there and then one there and loop that all the way around that looks like a good one to me starting to get used to where all these buttons are as well all the different windows that I need there we go so we've got a, a nice sort of wiggle around the town the Wellington trains are far too long. Remove about four cars and it should improve. Uh, am I going to have to add those cars back on again, Frederick? Uh, and the two routes uh, are not making profit have the slowest frequency. Yeah, I know frequencies, uh, frequency is important, so we'll see. They drive on the right in the towns, apparently. Yes, they do. Ah, ah here we go, folks. The new vehicles are available. So we've got the horse drawing carriage and the ho and some more horse drawing carriages. Um, so we'll be able to look at that shortly. Let's get some new vehicles for this. So we're going to buy a passenger vehicle. So we've got a steam one here. It uh, has a slower top speed. It costs more to run and carries one more passenger. And has more em emissions. Uh, and costs more to purchase. It, uh, but it, but it carries one more passenger. Oh, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll read that in a second. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll purchase them in a second. Um, hi, hellish. Finally catching you live. Thank you for helping my dad and I with our open TTD addiction. You're welcome. Your videos are super helpful. How does this game compare, compare, play compared to Open TTD? Looks very pretty. Um, for me, it's the game that best matches a lot of the challenges and that sort of thing that comes with playing Open TTD. The industries link in a similar sort of way. Kind of like the basic logic of the game is very similar. The graphics are indeed very pretty, indeed with like with all the engines and that sort of stuff. There are some differences, like so. For example, in Open TTD, the biggest difference for me is the trains will pick paths as they are going. But in this game, you set a line which is a specific path, and it must follow that line. So there's a bit of a that's kind of the biggest difference, and it does affect a lot about how you plan your railways in the game and stuff like that. But yeah. Uh, eventually, but it will take time. You're right. I might, I might make, might make them shorter. And the bus service will probably fix Wellington's passenger problem. 
It might do. It might do. I just need to do some maths on this. Uh, looking at this, I f look that is about a grand a year per passenger. That one's less than a grand a year per passenger, but it is slightly smaller and does worse emissions. I think I'm going to stick with the stagecoach. I think. No, it's got to be better, right? Let's go with the steam. We're, we're going to go with the steam. We're going to set it to the line... Uh, line 1, which we'll, we'll change the name of, name of in a minute. So there it is. There's line 1. This is the uh, well loop. So it's the uh, loop that goes around the town. And we can change its colour to red because all of the town loops are red. And we'll clone that vehicle. And we'll clone all of those vehicles. And we can't do it again because I don't think we've got enough money. But we'll do it. We'll do two more vehicles. That'll do. So I think they're going to come out of here. And this is going to be interesting to see because these are our first non horse and cart drawn engines here they come I do hope the bus service does fix the problem there we are well they just cost us a lot of money to run they do look cool actually it's kind of like a traction engine isn't it it's like um, it's like a rail car with its own individual little tiny steam engine in the back I like it Hopefully they'll spread themselves out over time and I don't have to worry too much about them spreading themselves out around town. Now, let's have a look at replacing those terrible vehicles. So, what were they? Was it on... Yeah, pick food. Let's do... Uh, replace all vehicles. Cargo. And see... We, have, we haven't really got the money to do this yet, but there are several options. And... This one here is limited to certain cargo types. Uh, and I'm not seeing food. Food is not in the list of cargo types that the flatbed can do. We need the covered version. The covered version goes faster and carries more. So it's going to cost us nearly 600,000 to replace them. So I don't know. How many, how many people we got here now? Ah, oh, look at this. Right, the number of people at the station is starting to pick up a bit now. We've got 20 people waiting there. And we've got 11 people coming on the train. Numbers are increasing. I think I'm going to leave the train lengths as they are. Just for a little while. Because I feel like it's going to be... It's going to be good. Okay, so yeah, there's a good number of passengers there now. We've only just started to have the, the bus routes come around. We probably need more of these. There was the turkey chicken noise. It was in the town. I heard it. I definitely heard it. I didn't see it. There are eight residents waiting there. Okay. Let's have a look at the road lines. Okay, so the new line isn't making a lot of money. Wow. The Pickering food loop is now making a lot of money. So is the Wellington food loop. But again, they do have a lot more vehicles on them. The frequency of these loops isn't too bad for the... Yeah, it's not too bad. And these these vehicles have really started to space them out, that them space themselves out better. Um, we still have way too much food at the farm. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, so this farm is trying to, I think it's trying to get better, but it won't. I'm not sure why there was a turkey in the town, Brandon. 
Um, right, I'm going to take out a loan. We're going to borrow a load of money. We're going to go to the Pickering Food Loop. The condition of these vehicles is very bad. We are going to replace them all with the European covered horse drawn carriage. It's um it's faster and has more capacity. Uh so in theory should be better over the long term. I think. You think it just needs some time to get running for those passengers now? I think so. People in the town have chickens as pets, maybe. It was probably more like there was some sort of chicken stall or something. 20 vehicles. Are they all in bad condition? They're all in bad condition. There we go. Those road vehicles have now been replaced. So if we look at this road vehicle now, you can see it's carrying four of five. And if we look at the line, the Pickering Food Loop is an 85,000 balance at the moment. Uh, crude oil? What? New Viewer Plus subscriber. Fantastic. Fantastic. We've got a New Viewer Plus subscriber. I'm not sure if it's a resub, but... Uh, Esme, if you are in the chat and watching right now, please do pop along and say hello. Thank you very much for your support of the channel. Look at that. We're nearly back up to 50 again. And no, I'm not going to do another 50 giveaway when we get to 50 again because I haven't even done the last 50 yet. Um, it just hasn't realized what it's carrying yet. Ah, uh, yes, that's a very good point because we've just refreshed all the vehicles. Bank account again is not looking very pretty. How much loan have we got? Eight million. That is a lot. I would like to upgrade my station sometime soon. Um, look, we're, we're getting actually quite a few passengers now for the well pick line. We got a train on that line. Where's the train coming in? I don't see it. So my train got lost. One train. Oh, that. Pro, that's probably it. The other one's down here somewhere. It's just a shame that this town doesn't want food, because there is a farm right nearby. Although I'm not seeing a food processing plant very close by. See, this is the difficult one because they want boxes, and to make boxes you need. Uh, angle iron and lego now you can make angle iron with uh with copper blobs and stone blobs we can get stone blobs over there and copper blobs over there and put that together to make the angle iron that's fine but to make the lego we need oil uh i think we need yeah oil from there to go into a refinery and then we need to make that into lego which I think we can only do like at these chemical plants. And if uh, if we go to the in is that the industry list? That's the town statistics. And we look at the uh, Lego producing product places. There's only three of them. There's one chemical plant over here one chemical plant all the way down here and one chemical plant all the way over here yeah there's only three lego creation places and they are absolutely miles away which in the future might not be a problem but we have not got the money and funds to build a line like that right now okay uh let's check on in on a few things here so there we go we've got one of the road vehicles coming down here it's got five people on it i think that line is actually quite saturated isn't it 
the Wellington Loop. No, no, it's not quite saturated. The Pickering Loop is saturated, and the Brad Loop is not too bad. I feel like we need more vehicles on the Pickering Loop. And that Pickering Food Line, look at that, 185,000. Since I've upgraded that one, it's done so well. It's making some of that money back for spending onto the new vehicles. Oh, uh, look, and now it's registering as food as well. Brilliant. Uh, the production of the plant might go up sometime soon. We've got loads of food to shift. Maybe we should just put more road vehicles on. Pickering Food Loop. We've nearly got half a million. It's not enough money to like double the number of road vehicles. Let's get five. And another five. There you go. We've, we've added ten new road vehicles to this now. They'll go off and get their stuff. Yeah, there's so many oil wells, Egg. So many oil wells. Not enough Lego creation sites at all. But never mind. Let's have a look at how the station's getting on over here. So the well-picked main line has actually got 32 people waiting at it now. Um, have we got a train coming in? Yeah, look. There's a train coming in. That train has 15 people on it. It's not bad. Uh, it's not very realistic for a horse to take a day to cross a junction. No. But as we've seen in many of these games, the quantities and scales just do not match. Uh, I did a GSI episode about that, and you can see it on my second channel if you're interested. If you go to masterhellish.net, at the bottom of, of the website, there's a link. There's links to all my places, to my Discord, to my second channel, and all of that sort of thing. It's all out there. Okay. I think Wellington started... Look! 28 people and 25 people now waiting there. That's really good. And what about if we look... Not the vehicle statistics, the line statistics. Yeah, are, are you... Are you? Is it usage? Our usage of the well loop is not great. Can we upgrade the pick loop trains? Vehicles. Pick loop... Upgrade passenger. Oh, it doesn't cost a lot of money for that. Do I have to highlight them? Why is it greyed out? Oh, because I ain't got enough money. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't cost a lot. I just, I just haven't got the cash. I so haven't got the cash for that. But I think I did recently pay some loan off. So... It'll um, it'll be fine in the long run. Oh no! Now we're minus sixty-two. We'll have to sort that out later. Okay, so a train is leaving Wellington with 38 passengers on board. Look at it go. Fantastic. This acceleration is quite slow, isn't it? There must be a key combination to hide the interface. F11. No, that's not it. F1. Now, of course, that's help. It's always help, isn't it? Actually, I think it's in the developer, the developer options in this game. Advanced. Debug menu. I think you have to turn that on. And then you can do it. Enable camera tool. Not sure what camera tool is. But there we go. Right alt G. There you go. Thank you very much, Steve. 
Come on, let's get a little scenic view of this one coming through. There we go. It's just me and my face. Watching the train. It is a weird key combination. Yes. I don't think I've known many other games use the right alt as a key for something. Okay, our bank balance again is 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 not looking the best. It's but we are spending money. We're improving vehicles, we're adding more vehicles. I think like if we just looked at just income. Like income would be going up. To me that looks like income's going up. Cuz look, we were getting income like less than 1 million, about a million, over a million, a bit more. Okay, be the bad year there. But then like that's above 2 million, they're down a little bit and it's coming back up again. If you average that out, income is on average going up. And this expenditure here, that in costs that includes uh infrastructure like new infrastructure. <laughs> Say what you want about long trains, but they do look good. Hey above the line, welcome. Right, how many how many we got ooh. Oh there we go. I clicked on the wrong thing. Um so Wellington, we've got yeah, look, we've got thirty nine people now waiting to go there. And what we want to be able to do is configure this. We're gonna put like another piece of track in here. And then we'll put another set of platforms in along that edge. Or Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Cause we can mess around with the tracks later. Because then we can put like something down the edge and maybe do or, or I don't know actually. Does one one platform down the middle make more sense for passengers? Like the passengers have one platform and then they have a track either side. One for trains going to one destination and one for trains going to another destination. I think that would be better. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. This is I've never used this modular station building before because it wasn't in the last version of the game. Uh, what's our loan like at the moment? Uh, we've got 8 million, so I have paid off a little bit. Does it act as a platform? It does act for a platform for both lines. Yes, I, I know it does act for a, act as a platform for both lines. So, um, but I was just wondering from purely like a gameplay or maybe even cosmetic point of view, what we would want to do. <clears throat> and Egg says I've seen both in real life. It is cheaper, Tinman. That is true. Uh, for one of them, I just have to add the line. For the other one, I'd have to add the line and another set of platforms. Okay, there's a train coming. It's got 33 passengers in it. And it's coming from uh, Pickering. It's coming from Pickering. And here at the station, there are 47 people wanting to go to Pickering. Yes. That is fantastic. I'm really pleased about that. You like using both sides of a platform. It uh, isn't... So the platform isn't half empty look to look at. Oh, I see. Yeah. Deceleration on these trains is certainly a lot better than the, what they used to be, I think. I still feel like they could simulate more deceleration. Like, trains would be, begin slowing down way before that. I also don't like the way trains turn around. I think they should reverse. I think they should go backwards don't think they should turn around just a personal preference though okay 
Looks like things are going quite well on the food loop over here. 88 there now. Has that gone up in production? Doesn't look like it. There is a mod for not flipping. Yeah, I re And there's a mod for realistic braking as well. There's a mod for everything, isn't there? Your train lines are sinking your company. You should create a cargo line. Maybe. Maybe I should finally get some Lego built. The problem is, is that we need a relatively good, healthy bank balance again to be able to build that cargo line. That's the problem. Um, but the good news is, is that now all of our train stations seem to have plenty of people waiting to go to those other locations. Uh, unless a train's just been. Like a train has only just been to go to Pickering. And there's already 17 people waiting to go to um, Brad. And I have no idea where that train is. I think it's over here. Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I don't think we're going to stream much past 10 tonight. I seem to be... Then again, folks, it has been a long day for me. Let let me... Whilst we watch this train to do a little bit of its journey, I'll just uh, tell you a little bit about my day. So I, I got up at half five like I normally do during the week. Yes, I'm a madman for doing that. And then at six o'clock in the morning, when it was minus three outside... I got on my bike and I went and biked five and a half kilometers around the village uh, which was a ridiculous thing to do because it was icy and frosty and yes I did fall off my bike um, my bike slipped on the ice and I fell off I only fell off once uh, but you know it's a good way to, it's a good way to start the day fresh air exercise um, and I don't like running uh, but I like cycling. I enjoy cycling. I don't enjoy running. So I do the cycling. And then I got home, had my shower, got the little one up and all that sort of stuff. Took her to school. Came back and then started work at 9 o'clock. And today was my last day at my day job. Um, I had a few tasks that they wanted me to help out with in the morning. Uh, before lunch I went into the office and handed my equipment in, gave my laptop back and all that sort of stuff and I um, went and had lunch with a friend at KFC just to just to do the opposite to what my bike ride did but it was kind of like a little bit of a celebration thing and it was good to see my friend as well and then uh, came back did a little bit more work uh, not much because I didn't have my laptop and stuff so I was using my personal computer to make sure I had everything in line and say my goodbyes to everybody uh, picked my daughter up from school I made a dinner uh, got her ready for bed did story time and all that sort of thing and then doing a live stream tonight so it's been an interesting day for many reasons and um, I'm starting a new job on Friday where I'm going to be a dev not an open TTD dev before before somebody even says it because I know somebody will okay bank balance again looking relatively healthy cup of tea ooh that sounds like a good idea I mean I do like a good cup of tea but I, I normally only have a cup of tea when I'm out and maybe eating cake at a cafe or something um, I don't. I don't normally have a cup of tea at home. Uh, cold drinks for me, usually water. <laughs> Timon's like that's like a week for me. Yeah. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you very much. Um, I am still in the IT industry, but I'm changing like my career path completely. Uh, my career path up until now has been application and technical support, data migration. And data analysis and reporting um, integrations and technical projects that kind of just describes my entire IT journey and then I'm getting I'm ditching all of that and I'm going developer so 
yeah, big change, and hopefully, hopefully it'll be, I mean, no, I, I know it's going to be good. You know when you've made a good, a good move for yourself, so yeah. Did you make this game? Oh no, now we've moved on to, I am not an open TTD dev, I am not a transport fever dev, I have not devved any released games. I've worked on concepts and I've done some very rough kind of yeah I've built some very rough game concepts in the past nothing that's ever been released or anything that I've progressed much further than that so yeah Steve says web or application uh, a most web I think I think it makes. I think it's web. Um, I'm a. I. I want to be a very diverse developer. I want to be able to look at a, a problem and and come up with a good solution. Look at the amount of passengers here. There's 39 passengers. This this just will not do. We need to sort this out. Right. The line at Pickering. No, no, wait. The Pickering Loop. It's only got three vehicles going on the Pickering Loop. That's terrible. Although the frequency is quite good. Okay, what if we replace all the vehicles? How much is that going to cost us? Yeah, we can afford that. Let's do that. So we replace all the vehicles and then we clone all the vehicles to double it. There we go. We've just doubled the amount of vehicles there. You know what? The Brad Loop is the only one that hasn't had the same treatment. So if we do replace vehicles, yep, we can't clone them because we ain't got the money for that though. Steve says, ah, so full stack, maybe, maybe. Um, I'm going in, it's, this is the beginning of my journey really as a developer. Like all the stuff that I've had to do in the past to do with development, I've never done as a developer i've always developed a tool or an app or a service as part of a different project or part of a different team and yeah by the way the bot that announces the viewer plus subscribers i wrote that the this this widget down here that displays the number of the viewer plus subscribers the newest sub and randomly thanks somebody i wrote that so that is my development. I have done that sort of thing in the past, but it's always been like my own bits and things, or it's always been like tools, apps and services f as part of other projects. From now on, I'm just going to be a full blown developer. Whether I specialize in certain areas or not will, will remains to be seen. Next URL, hell to you. Hi to you indeed. Oh wait, I wanted that on my screen still. Uh, because these vehicles I want to clone. There we go. Right, so now each of the three towns has six road vehicles going round and they're all the new kind of road vehicle. That looks so much better. Hopefully they'll make more money as well. And we have 23 road vehicles at Pickering food. Which is not, I mean, I. Uh, which is not good enough. Pickering food. 23. So we need two more. There we go. Now we've got 25. That's not what I want. There we go. Now at Wealth. Uh, uh, well, what is it? Welton? Well, Wellington. At Wellington food. Do we need more road vehicles? And I think the answer is yes. Yes, we do. And we've only got 14. So let's have a look. So on the Wellingbra line, we've only got 14, uh, 15, 16, 17. Oh, hang on, this is it's saying 22. What am I looking at? Oh, it's plus 14. Oh. So we've got those ones plus another 25, 32 vehicles. Ah, oh, never mind. Uh, oh, you're a dev. Cool. I, I haven't started the job yet. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Quantum Distortion coming back next year then. No, Brandon. 
I would have to quit my photography project. I would probably have to quit YouTube and Twitch and streaming and, and making videos if I wanted to make quantum distortion a, rea a reality. Um, I've done a few tests. I've made a few test versions of quantum distortion, but never got anywhere else. Um, Brent says, um, no, there's no R in that. Brent says, uh, well done, Hellish. Thank you very much. And Brandon says, congrats. Thank you very much indeed. Steve says, my development skills end at fancy CSS and Transport Fever 2 mods. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been doing CSS for a long time. I'm not sure I'm fancy at it, but I could get fancy. Brandon says, game dev is super hard, time consuming, and as well as expensive. Yes and no. Oh, it's very easy to say that those things are true, but that is not true. Like, okay, I'm going to have to pause this a second. Right. Making something doesn't have to be hard. Depends what you're trying to make. It is time consuming. That is true to a point. But again, it depends what you're trying to make. As well as expensive. And it doesn't have to be expensive. It depends what you're trying to make. Um, the thing is, is that there's so many different sort of sub projects out there and you see certain ones in the limelight, especially the ones that fail because they like they're newsworthy and the ones that over promise and are spandangly and they fail because they are well, expensive and hard and time consuming. But there's a whole scale of what a game is and what a game can contain and how complex it can be both in the game logic of uh, the level design in the art and graphics all of those things can be really quite simple and small and not expensive so whilst your statement can be true it's not always true depends what project you're looking at and how you're approaching that project very much so let's says congrats master hellish on moving uh, up into a um, uh, new and better job um you would you, you would have signed the theme song to american sitcom the jefferson but you don't have the pipes for it sign did you say sing you'd say sign you would have signed um i don't, I don't actually I think I recall that theme song, but yeah. Also, we need to fix this road, and I still don't have the money for it. So we have... We need to upgrade the well food vehicles, because it's, it's annoying me that they're all different. It's going to cost only 87000 It doesn't actually cost that much to upgrade the road vehicles, and it seems that overall it does work quite well. Above the line says, under promise is better than an over promise. I agree with that. I I also think that whenever you tackle anything, anything at all, I can't think of an example where breaking it up into smaller stages or things and tackling them one by one wouldn't be better. Uh, my example when I, I say this, and I say this about so many different things in life, if you try, if you live in a house and you try and get from the bottom floor to the top floor and you try and jump up the stairs, you are going to hurt yourself and you're going to fail. You're not going to jump from the bottom to the top. It's impossible for a human to do that, except maybe like an Olympic athlete with a long run up, maybe. I don't know. But as an average Joe, you're not going to do it. But if you try and get up the stairs, by going up each step individually you can do it easily we do it every day it's not like one thing's impossible and the other thing you do without thinking on a daily basis so breaking tasks up into easy baby steps is really important subdivide more ignorable tasks yeah it means you can focus it means you can get on with that bit you can achieve that bit and move on game development could be similar um let's have a look at these vehicles yeah we're going to upgrade all of these vehicles now because what 
Why did that go for... Did I have less vehicles selected? I probably had less vehicles selected when I upgraded them. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to upgrade all the vehicles. We'll just add in the ones that are missing. So in this food loop, we've got 32. In this loop, we've only got 22. So we're going to add some new ones. So what we'll do is we'll get one vehicle. And we'll upgrade just that one vehicle. Then we'll clone it. Yep, we'll clone it, and we'll clone it, and we'll do it until we got 32. Or run out of money. Run out of money, apparently. Um, when is the new internet getting installed, or is it already done? Oh, yeah, so my new internet is coming at, I, I think, right at the beginning of February. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to make a massive amount of difference. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I can't stream at a higher bitrate than what I already stream. I already stream at the maximum that Twitch will allow me to stream. Not much I can do about that. Right then, uh, so we've got more new vehicles coming out. We are, are a little bit short of what I wanted it to be. Strategic Division of Labour. Uh, that train is leaving with a full complement of passengers. Let's have a look at the trains. Huh? Oh yeah, there's... So look, the main lines there are actually starting to make a profit now, which is brilliant. The Pickering Brad line is really low on rate. I think we probably need more trains. Also, we need to rename some of our trains. Because I said we'd do one train per live stream and we've still got some to do. So we've got Train 2 to rename, and we're going to name it after a Viewer Plus subscriber. If you don't know, Viewer Plus is a way to support the channel. It does it in a similar way to a Twitch sub or a YouTube membership or Patreon, except there's no middleman. I run the service myself, so I get the money direct to me uh, via, um, via PayPal, who handles the transaction all uh, securely. And you can get a Viewer Plus sub from the uh from three pound 15 a month which is fantastic isn't it uh and the person who we're going to name the train after is bent we are going to name the train after you thank you very much for being a viewer plus subscriber And I just need to make sure I type this. Is it Bentonville, isn't it? That looks like it's correct. There we go. Congratulations. And because we're drawing towards the end of this live stream, we'll do the next one as well. So train three, that's the one that we actually wanted to do today. And then next live stream, we'll name train four. And the lucky person for that is... Matt Strat. Congratulations, Matt Strat. You are getting your name in the game. Somebody please let me know if I type that wrong. Matt Strat. I think that's right. Ah, well, we'll see. Um, so there we go. <clears throat> Um, today was all about Wellington. We wanted to connect a main line up to it, and we did that. It cost us a lot of money. Um, but uh, we started our service running on that, and it was a dismal failure. It nearly put the company out of business. However, we borrowed a lot of loan, and we implemented a food service within the town where we uh, got stuff coming in from the farm, which by the looks of it, we might need to increase the, the length of the platforms. We're getting a little bit of a slowdown there, or I should say the loading area. And we're bringing food into the town. And we've also got some road vehicles going around 
got lots of people waiting outside the train station here. I think we might need to get some more vehicles on that. Let's have a look. Uh, so if we look at the road vehicles for the Wellingborough Loop, yeah, it's not too bad. Finances for the Wellingborough Loop are looking a little bit iffy. We've only made a tiny bit of profit on that one. The Pickering Food Loop, though. Wow, that has just absolutely skyrocketed since we introduced the new European-covered horse-drawn carriage. You're sat at work watching the stream? Hope you're getting the work done you need to. Sometimes, in the past, I've watched streams while working, but that was when I had repetitive, repetitive copy-and-paste tasks to do. I would put some entertainment on in the background uh, just to keep things ticking along through the day sometimes I just you just don't appreciate the level of detail that goes into a tr uh, into a transport game I mean look at these yards absolutely fantastic and of course here are some of our road vehicles I do like that our road vehicles are even steam now There she, there she rolls. Um, is that a post box? Yeah, it looks like there's a post box on that street in the middle of nowhere. And a witch. That, that woman just disappeared and came back and looked like... There you are, Luca. Turned into Luca Williams. Oh, and Luca Williams just walked through a lamppost. Definitely um, a witch. Oh, Luca is now at work. That's an interesting camera. I wonder if we can get like a camera angle of this. Oh no, not the. I don't want the residential building. I want this. Like, how can I get? I don't know how I do that. There's not the symbol. Stop. No. Reverse. No. Not sensitive. Don't send. No. There's not the right symbol to go. Do I have the symbol for getting on the front of a train? The button to get on front of a train. No. I can look at a train. But I don't seem to be. Oh, it appears in the window. There we go. I'm a train. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually slightly in front of the train feel like I'm going to get run over by the train. I want to have a look at that one again. The icon, I think the icon should be there whether you're hovering over the window or not. Oh wow, that's an interesting way for people to get in and out of a vehicle, isn't it? I wonder what will happen to the camera when it goes around the corner. Will it? Will the camera turn with it? It should turn with it, shouldn't it? The camp yeah, there you go. Wow, look at that. Even the wheels on the bottom of the carriage turn. That is a little bit impressive there. That is a little bit impressive. Okay, folks. Um, yeah, we're going to wrap it up there. We're going to wrap it up there. Wellington is well and truly on the map. We now have all of those going and running. If we look at our lines... Uh, we've got uh, three loops of vehicles which are in profit. They're, mo they're not making a massive amount of money. And then we've got two food loops. One's doing okay, and the other one is doing astonishingly well. Like, really well. Um, doesn't sound like a steam engine. You're right, Egg. That really didn't sound like a steam engine, did it? Jackamax says the same as well. Um... And over on the trains, well, we've doubled the amount of trains we've got. So we've increased the number of towns by uh, to 150% of what it was. The trains are now 200% of what it was. And we've got so many road vehicles, it's actually becoming a nightmare having to maintain them all a little bit. But the bank balance is slowly going up, and I am slowly repaying that loan off. So if we have a look here at the charts, you can see that the bank balance is just bouncing up and down. Um, that's mostly because I'm paying it off. And look, the company value 
is rising quite nicely. And that's because we've not got the debt. There's a mod for that. I should know. I made it, says Steve. <laughs> Steve, um, I would love to have links to some of these mods. If you can come over to the Discord, there is a Transport Fever 2 channel in my Discord. Come along and take a look at... Uh, and, and just drop some links. I'd be great to see it. Um, but we're going to leave it there, folks. Yep, it's been a long day. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. There will not be a stream or video tomorrow. But I, Oh, actually, I think there is a video tomorrow because I think I'm doing hellish news. So there might be a video tomorrow. Uh, and next week, we've got a little bit of a channel takeover going on. Um, what I'm planning to do, and I don't know if I'll be able to pull this off, but each day that I do a stream in the evening, there will also be a video released at 4 o'clock. So three videos at four o'clock of a brand new series. And um, it's topical because the brand new series is going to be coding game uh, in a brand new programming language. So make sure you've got the notifications on either on YouTube or over on the Discord to make sure you don't miss out on that. And I think that might go on for two or three weeks, maybe more. So you'll get a coding game video at 4 o'clock on the days that we have a live stream. But there we go. You don't use Discord? Uh, yeah, just just put it on Twitter um, or on Facebook. You could use Instagram, but I don't really check that. I do have a Reddit, but I again, I don't really check it. It's more for me just sending out notifications. So if you don't do Discord, then yeah, yeah do something on Twitter. I'll, uh, I'll follow you or something like that. But we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much to all of my Viewer Plus subscribers for supporting the channel, keeping things going around here. Um, the announcement for the winner of the £50 Steam Voucher giveaway will happen towards the end of the month, probably. I'm very busy at the minute. As you now all probably uh, have guessed with the various different things that are going on in my personal life, as well as changes on the channel. So thank you all for being patient with me. Especially thank you for those people who won prizes at the festive charity giveaway and actually in the days leading up to that uh, who haven't got their prizes yet. I am working on it. I'm really trying to like get it done in between everything else and I will. I will get there. So um, Egg and Jackamack, you will get your postcards and there's some other people with some other prizes as well. You will get them. I'm, I'm working on it. But thank you very much, everybody, for all the good luck wishes. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be taking a bit of time out to do some DIY. And then on Thursday, I'll be taking some time out to give my car an MOT and also spend a little time with the wife before I start my new job on Friday. But thank you very much for all the support in every way that you give it. And I'll see you all soon. From me and all the trains, goodbye for now, everybody. Take care.